All right, now let's go meet up with that deck of scrub and make use of his nice, nice little low flower. And I'm just going to spin attack my way there. Woo, and I get a heart. I don't need it. Whatever. Come on, my buddy. I'm trying to make full use of this 3 say cycle. Damn it, I said it again. Whatever. Stock to move again. Yeah, Moon Steer, I must get it from you. My wife would love it. Give it to me. Yeah, yeah, you told me about this before. So let's give it to him. Let's give him what he wants. Ah, that stone! You must hand it over to me. Stange, I'll give you my spot here. Yeah, my spot here, Deck of Flower included. Yes? No! Fuck you! And now we got the land tower. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. I said I on the jewel for strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. Tally for this spot should be high demanding of one's deck of scrub, but you already know that. You need it anymore, so you can always sell it. That's cool. Get the hell out of my property. Yeah, damn right. Get out of here. Get, 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 get out of here. Alright, cool. And now we got this kind. This kind of Deku flower is kind of different if you've noticed it. Like, it's a little bigger than most of them. <laughs> but the main difference is that it shoots you up a lot higher and you can go a lot farther. And let's make our way up here and get our first piece of heart. Collect four pieces of heart to assemble a new heart container. But you already knew that. Each new container you put together can increase the amount of life energy you have. Let's... The door the clock tower opens only once a year at midnight on the eve of the carnival. Okay, Tattle! We know! I didn't even push the up C at the time! She just says it automatically and he's like, Ah, you don't know shit, so I'll just tell you anyway. Alright, so let's go make good use of this whole time. So let's go check over here, back in North Clock Town. As you guys saw before, there's this one deck of flower over here. And we're gonna make some slight use of it. And we can fly our way over here. Woo! Down the hole we go. And we survive. Oh my god. Alright, so check it out. It's a mini game that we're gonna make use of. How about it? Will, you, will the young one play? 10 rupees? Hell yeah! That's up steel! And yes, this is a Deku Flower minigame. The time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record, you get an extravagant prize. But once you fall down below just once, it's over. And we gotta collect all the rupees in a minute and 50 seconds. And trust me, that is really easy. Though I'm probably gonna fuck it up right now. So let's make use of this. Come on. There we go. Yeah, I am a master of this game. Trust me, I have played the beginning part of this game so many times, I pretty much optimized the whole first three day cycle of this. And trust me, if you don't know what I mean by the whole cycle thing, either you've never played this game or never heard of it, you've got to have at least heard of this game and know what the whole premise of it is. And shut up, Tattle. I'm not in the mood right now. I'm trying to make some money here. And there we go. Shut up, Tattle. You're gonna, you're gonna ring again, aren't you? Shut up! Alright! I'm getting a little pissed here. Not because of this game, but because of a fairy that doesn't know when to shut the hell up. Make me a sandwich. I don't know. Okay, it's all over. Alright, cool. 55, 30, amazing. It's a new record. Take this. Hell yeah! And we get 50 rupees for beating this. I'll record it this time. So what's your name? Link? Strange name from Deku Scrub. Deku Scrubs even have names. Because you guys don't have names as far as I know. So anyway. Let's make our way out of here. If you beat this three days in a row. Well. Something good should happen. So for now let's make our way over here into the. West Clock Town or East Clock Town. Really. We're going to make some good use of this land title deed. All I know is that I, my Nintendo Capri Sun senses are tingling right now. You know. Win the bathroom! Damn right. <laughs> okay, sorry, Nintendo Capri Sun. I had to make that joke because. Come on, man. What am I about to do with this land title deed? You should know. Everyone else should know. And we're sneaking our way back in here. You can't make your way in here after like a certain time. So let's check over here. 
P -p Paper, please. All right. Here you go. This is what I think about your title deed. Oh, you saved me. Exactly. This fell down here, I'll give it to you. Thank you for that, and our second piece of heart. Two down, 50 more to go. Yes, this game has 52 heart pieces. That is kind of insane, in my opinion. Anyway, now we have 80 rupees. I'm actually going to go deposit this stuff. And yes, this game has a rupee depositing system. And it's over here in West Clock Town. <laughs> and the Deku Scrub can't say shit. This is still mine. And someone wiped his ass with that deed. <laughs> That's insult to injury right there. Fuck you, Duke. Anyway, let's go talk to this person. Hey there, little guy. I want you to deposit some rupees. Now, even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing. Nothing. All right, I get it. For a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. Nice. Hell yeah, I'll deposit some. I don't need this much money. So I'm going to deposit everything. I'll just make back what I have. So what's what's your name? Link, is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposit. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Ugh. It's not going to leave any marks and it's not going to hurt. <laughs> Whatever. See, now I know when I see you. Alright, so now we have 80 rupees in this. And trust me when I say 80 down, 80 rupees down, 4,920 to go. You'll know what I mean in the very, very distant future. Whatever. So now, if you guys want to, you can actually cut all this grass because each of these little pieces of grass give at least one rupee. So if you manage to cut them all at once, you can get like a 20 rupee from one of them. So, and potentially you can get up to like 28 rupees if you like kill them all at once. Though I don't know why I say kill because it's just grass. Oh, what the hell. Ha! Ah! Dude, if a Deku Scrubs bubbles can penetrate that deeper than your freaking, uh... What, little... I'm assuming you're gonna you're using like little tiny rocks. Rocks that are more dense than a bubble. If your rocks can't even penetrate that when a bubble can, you're doing something wrong. Well, whatever. Right now I'm trying to make up some money because I'm just gonna get like at least 20 rupees right now. Though there is an easier way to get money as far as I know. Eight and 23. Alright, that's good number. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, I just like doing this because it's easiest way to get rupees in my opinion. You can do this one game in the West Clock Town. It's like a treasure chest mini game, but not really worth it in my opinion. Plus the lady's kind of, uh, kind of, I don't know what the word for it is. Like she decides how much you pay based on what you look like. Uh, what's superficial? That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, the lady's pretty damn superficial about that. He was like, as a deck script, you do pay a lot less, a little less. Though, if you're a certain race later on, she's like, oh, 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 oh. five rupees. All right, cool. So, what's going on? Oh god! Oh god! Oh, I'm getting claustrophobic here. Oh, it's only dawn of the second day. So we have 48 hours left. Let's make some good use of it. So let's just talk to these motherfuckers again. Try setting a new record again today, young Link. And again, another 10 rupees. Dude, you know my mind. Cheap shit is good. And yes, we know this whole thing. And we just gotta beat this in 1 minute and 50 seconds. Though this time it's different because they rotate around the room instead of like going up and down. Though this can be fairly difficult if you don't know how to work it. Alright, I made it. Good. You just gotta... Alright. I should be good there. Hopefully. And... There we go. Alright. There we go. Tattle! Seriously? Are you gonna keep interrupting me every freaking time I do this game? Whatever. Oh, wait. 
and uh, come on, come on, come on, Rupee. Woo! I made it. Woo! Beat it. Damn right, it's all over. Forty seconds and fifty-five mil. Forty and fifty-five seconds. Another fifty. Hell yeah, man! If you want, you could be and. Uh, you could intentionally beat this at a really, really close time to a minute 50 seconds, get the 50 rupees, challenge it again, and beat it in a fast, faster time, then get 50 more rupees. Trust me, that's like an easy way to get a bunch of money. But other than that, like, we could just do this for, like, day three, and then that's pretty much all we can do for this. So, yeah, I don't know about anything else. Let's actually go explore the town's people. I'm actually going to go deposit some money. I'm going to go deposit some money. So, yeah, I'm going to deposit it. I'm going to collect, like, 20 more rupees. And then we're going to go exploring around the place. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Ah, screw the money. I can get it later. I just deposited it for now. So, let's make our way over here into north. As, yeah, Kluk down. Kluk down. Ooh, the mailman. The most important man of the world. What do you got to say? Yeah. Currently on the job. I have to talk. It'll disrupt my schedule. Damn. Tight ass. Tight ass. Okay. <laughs> you know all that running does him good. Whatever. That did not sound gay at all. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm just going to stop doing that. What sucks about the deck to scrub, he could barely jump at all. So you can't make that maneuver your way around this place very well. Actually, let's go check the stuck pot in. Hello, who the fuck are you? I'm sorry, our rooms are filled. Do I look like a give a shit? Alright, let's uh, check back here. Ooh, the kitchen. And there's bugs in the kitchen. F. Whatever, so let's check in here then. Who the hell are you? Oh, a tortoise. Did you feel in shuffling father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? Uh, Carnival of Time, I guess. Carnival of Time, is it? Carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn its meaning. It's a little long, but I'll read it with some enthusiasm. Ahead. Carnival of Time. Each year, the seasons of harmony begin when the sun and moon are in alignment. Feigning homage to the way that both nature and time are tirelessly in the process of progressing. Carnival of Time is when the people of each of the four worlds celebrate the harmony and the request and request for this for the year. Wait, what happened? Oh, are you awake? I guess that story was a little boring for Tortoise, was it? Don't give up. Try again sometime. Wait, I fell asleep? Eh, uh, okay. <laughs> Didn't think I'd fall asleep. Jesus, that must be a boring-ass story, then. So what's over here? Who are you? Well, that won't work. Uh, it's too basic. Oh my god, look at them lips. No! <laughs> okay, yeah, my twisted, perverted tendencies are starting to kick in here. Ooh, I recognize that! Hey, it's you! Doo -doo -doo -doo. Don't speak to her right now. She hasn't finished her new dance for the town's carnival, do that. Even though the song is finished. Huh. I mean, this chick... She was very good at it. Maybe we should add some spins. Huh. Wait, I hear me. I hear. S Tattle! Door. You told me this already! You would think I'd forget? Whatever. So let's go check in with everything else then. Hey, get the hell out of my way. Is the guy here? Eh, no, he's not. Whatever. What else is going on? Actually, I don't think there's very much interesting stuff right here. And damn, this lady is fat! Man, am I an asshole. I think I might actually... Ah, screw it. I'm gonna fall asleep. Let's go. I need a little boring time right now, so... Let's speed shit up. Alright. Alright. 
Put me to sleep. Four giants. Four giants, is it? This is quite long, but it's a good story for you to hear, so I'll read it with some extra gusto. Four giants. This tale is from long ago when all the people weren't separated in four worlds like they are now. In those times, all the people lived together, and the four giants lived among them. On the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. A hundred steps north, a hundred steps south, a hundred steps east, a hundred steps west. If you have need, call us in a loud voice by declaring something as such as the mountain blizzard has trapped us, or the ocean's about to swallow us, your cries shall carry to us. 